We'll see. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Rise and Radke. Why are you leaning up on the pillow? It's putting you up. You don't think I should? Well, it's just putting you. Oh, up. this is how you want it. Like it's the 1992. Laid 90s. back. And I, uh, in a truck. Remember when <laughs> people used to do that? Mm hmm. Cutting off my adorable, my. Uh, should we just start this whole thing over? I gotta, t I've gotta take all these vitamins. Thank you. Get this handful of vitamins right here that I take every morning. That is, is that a lot? Mm, I think so. Per my age, is it a lot? That's probably right on par. That's exactly right. Thank you for watching Rise and Radke this morning. Hey, if you guys are watching on Facebook or Instagram or YouTube replay. Aww. Hashtag replay. Hashtag Claritin. Oh, God. I had to tilt, I had to uh, tilt our umbrella to, to make sure the sun wasn't on us. Mm -hmm. uh, but that is killing me. It is killing. It looks so crooked and it's driving me nuts. I had to do it or it would be in our it'd be We've in our got face. to move inside. Y'all, last week we had the most beautiful weather, and there was a breeze and no humidity, and now it's like we've moved right back into hell. I have, to, I have a feeling it's due to our bad decisions, is what I think. True that. Good morning Primarily from yours. Good morning from Waxahachie. Ooh. This is where we fell in love. Well, would you say that? It's mm. where we met. It's where we met. And it's where we were, you know, we got married. And I would say, and then we moved to Nashville. I would say that's when we fell in love. <laughs> People are like, what? Are y'all serious? We actually are. But we, we, fell, were, we fell in a lot of lust in Waxahachie. That is exactly right. We fell in lust in Waxahachie. We fell in love later in Nashville. And then we perfected it and actually got it right when we moved to Texas. I always, you know what I said to David the other day? I told him the other day we were arguing about something and I said, this sounds like something I would have argued about in my first marriage. And he goes, what? You know, David and I renewed our wedding vows in Maui. How many years ago was that, babe? Four? Two or three, or maybe three. Three years ago. And I feel like when we did that, I we did it because, well, he surprised me with it, but we had gone through a really difficult time in our marriage several years before that. And that felt like a really great time to renew our vows. And it feels, seriously, it feels like that was our first marriage and this is our second marriage. That's what it feels like. Same people are involved, but man, they've grown up and figured figured out what they needed to figure out to get here. I didn't care There's for- There's still more to figure out. I didn't care for my first, first wife near as much as I like my second wife. And I am hoping my third wife Gets, hits the nail on the head, if you know what I mean. <laughs> and I think you do. Um, a, um, Richmond, Texas is in the house. Good morning, Debbie. I had Debbie. a uh, couple of people say, Giants, go Giants. We do like the Giants. Brandon Belt from Hudson is on the Giants. Uh, and he's on here this morning, too. And good, Hey, good morning, Brandon. Um, <laughs> and, and the reason why sh the hat and shirt are on today is guess what today is in Texas? It is the first day of league baseball. Oh, wait. Tonight is a ball game that I have to go to. It's mm -hmm. not a scrimmage, like a fake game. No, it's real. I don't go to the fake games. I'm like, Rocco, I love you, and you're going to play ball for many years. I'm not going to go to a fake game and sit out in the heat. But today's a real one? Oh, man. That changes everything. First first game of league ball, so we are very, uh, very excited. Good morning, you guys. We're so glad that y'all are here. Amy Haney says that she sent me an email. Yay! Today's Monday. I don't read them on the weekend. Now, I don't read my email. I don't check my emails on the weekend, but I will today. Um, Newfoundland Canada is here. Wonderful. So glad that you guys are here. So tell me what y'all did this weekend. We'll fill you on our weekend. Shouldn't take long. Should take about two minutes. But we're the Radke, so somehow we'll stretch it out to 42. You did so good. Well, I'm out. You saw that little lizard out of the corner of your eye. You didn't freak I didn't do anything. a thing. I didn't do a thing. He's here all the time. If he jumps up on patio furniture, he turns brown. If he jumps up on a plant, he turns green. He knows he's freaking me out. He knows he's got the upper hand in our relationship. But I'm not going to show it. I'm not going to show my panic and fear. 
I'm not going to panic you by telling you there's probably two dozen lizards out here. Nope, that it's, one in particular. His name is Bruce. <laughs> We've made eye contact. He's promised not to make that red thing on his neck appear when I'm anywhere in the area, and we worked it out. Ah! They're sweet. Okay, how, how was y'all's weekend? Um, my son got engaged. Dang! Ooh. Depending on how you I feel was about say the girl. Congratulations, but exactly. Congratulations. Was Michelle saying my son got engaged, <laughs> or was she saying my son got engaged? We don't know, and we won't know unless she writes us back and tells us. Um, that could go either way. I did crafts and painted a welcome sign for our front door. Stacy, I'm gonna need you to log off. I'm gonna need you to log off. Okay? You doing crap? You're, you're trying to show us. You're up. trying to brag. Okay? And until you do a craft that says rag keys and you send it to my front door, log off. Okay? I never trust a person. Here are people that I don't trust. Are y'all ready? I don't trust anybody that doesn't like buttercream icing. I don't trust anybody that tastes something and says, ooh, I can't eat this. It's too rich. I don't trust anybody that can sew on a button. <laughs> And I don't trust anybody who owns a glue gun. So if you are any of those people, log off. Our numbers went. Log off. If you have ever tasted buttercream and been like, mm, not a fan of this icing. Log off. If you've ever been in a restaurant and y'all ordered dessert and you took one bite and you're like, oh my gosh, I can't finish this. It's so rich. You have actually said that. That's not true. Called, you I've, shut your mouth. And I've called you, you out. You shut your mouth. I've called you out on it. See, my list is short. You know the only people I don't trust? Blondes. <laughs> no. Nope. I don't trust people that don't share rising red key. They're the worst. Don't trust them. They're the worst. Something's going on. They want to be entertained. They want to laugh, but they're so selfish they keep it to themselves. <laughs> mm -mm. Okay. Don't trust them. Mandy said, cleaned out my kindergarten classroom. Oh, Mandy, I'm so sorry that your kindergarten year did not end the way you wanted it to end. Bless your heart. I'm so sorry. But get ready for next year. It's going to be a great year where we may go to school like just two days a week. <laughs> what is going on? Um, I showed up to a friend's party in my pajamas and robe and pretended to be Melissa. No, you didn't, Christy. Did you really do that? If so, you win today. Quote of the day. That's the, that, that's the post of the day, if that's true. Was that brought back up this weekend? Oh, dang. You can't trust me. Had me until sewing on a button. You're dead to me, Leslie. <laughs> Actually, Leslie, if you could send me your address, I've got a couple of shirts I'll send you. Uh, <laughs> that, got a couple of buttons. That is the truth. Our, we're keeping our cleaners in business just from having them sew on our buttons. It's the craziest thing. Made that apple snicker salad. Oh, yay. Ooh. Yum, yum, yum. Let me tell y'all what happened this weekend. David, tell them about what we said, I think it was last Thursday, about TikTok. I had 6,000 people, and I was like, oh, I have 60,000, oh. and you're like, nope, not even close. And we were talking about my TikTok, oh, and I was yeah. suggesting y'all get on. Yes, yeah, so um, j you kind of ran right over her talking about the sinker salad. If you did not see Tutorial Tuesday last week, Melissa did her recipe of the Snickers salad. It's Snickers, whipped cream, apples. It's really, really good. Uh, anyway, that actually video has done really well. So I'm lots glad. of you have liked that and shared that. Somebody just referred to themselves as the glue gun queen. Mm. Now, I've wanted to be queen of a lot of things, but never the glue gun queen. I bet she gets herself into You get to... Why did you talk over me? <laughs> I'm so sorry. It was going to be so good. Do it, David. Do it, David. <laughs> David, it's going to be wonderful. Do it. I would never want to be the glue gun queen. But she gets herself in some sticky situations. Oh, David! 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 You ruined it. I'm sorry, baby. I'm oh. sorry. I'm a talker, and you knew it when you married me. Remember how your mother told you that that Easter? She pulled you into the bedroom and said, Are you sure about this? She's a talker. She's an oversharer. And you said, Mom, I really feel like this is the girl for me. And she said, I wish you'd pray about it. You knew that. I don't remember any Kiss of me. Thing. Kiss me. Kiss now, kiss me, me like. Kiss me. Kiss me like you mean it. Mm. No, don't do that thing. Um, what does it say? Oh, TikTok. You don't stop to the TikTok, you know? Um, so anyway, we told you uh, a couple of weeks ago, Melissa started to do a little dabbling in the uh, the talk of the tick. Forgive me, Jesus. It's the devil's app. 
and uh, so anyway, so she's been out there, and we've told several of y'all to come over and check her out, and so she had some uh, some numbers doing well. Well, as Melissa does, <laughs> she put up a video. Uh, it was very wise. Remy's at the beginning, so it caused people to go, oh, she's so cute. What is this? I'm in the middle, so there's some meat, some there's substance. There's stud factor. There's some sub substance. And then Melissa screams very loud at the end, which causes people to laugh and then share. But uh, the TikTok video that came out uh, three days ago, two, three days ago? No, oh, it'd been out two weeks ago. They took it down because it did community guidelines. Oh, maybe that's what, okay. They said it broke community guidelines. <laughs> and then... They they didn't know I was an attorney. Then they didn't know he was an attorney, and he was like, uh, uh, no, put it back up. And then um, they put it back up two days ago. Okay, that's what it was. Put it back up two days ago. If you have if not followed Melissa on TikTok, you need to go check her out on TikTok. Lots of funny videos. Uh, the one video that has now over 3 million. 3.8 million views. 3.8 million views. It's um, it's a hack with Topo Chico. Topo Chico, Topo which Chico. everybody says, I love the way she says Topo, Topo Chico. Chico. How else would you say it? But Topo Chico. So anyway, <clears throat> hey, it's really a good hack. It is a funny video. Check but it. here's what's so funny about it. Friday night, David had a scrimmage, David and Rocco, and they were getting ready to walk out. They were in the bedroom, and David was walking out, and I said, hey, David. So this was Friday evening, uh, about 6 o'clock. I said, hey, David, I've got now 9,000 TikTok followers. And David said, really? And I said, yes. And he goes, that's really very good. I'm so proud of you. Can, because David's thing is, um, he's always telling me, don't put all your real estate in one place. Don't make all of your real estate in Facebook. Because if Facebook goes away, what do you do? David's, and so he's like, I want you to have real estate on social media because all across the board. Because y'all probably don't know this. Melissa was one of the biggest people on MySpace. But that's all gone. I never even had a MySpace. Okay, I was like a toddler. Um, anyway, so they, that's David's thing, and I have said for years I'm not, or months and months and months and months, I'm not going to get on TikTok. It's horrible. Sure it's, it's terrible. Sure, sure. But then some of my friends started saying, "But you're you're just it's because you're not following anybody, and you're not liking and anything." And you thought it was all dance, and she's not going to dance. I'm not going to dance. I'm going to try, but although I'm not. you did put a dance up after you mm -hmm. said you weren't going to put a dance up, you put a dance up without my permission because I'm in it. What are you talking about? The dance I put up was me and the girls in the front yard. No, me and you in our bedroom. Oh, that's really cute. Hopping ourselves up to do push-ups. Anyway, so Saturday, Friday night, I said to David, I said, I have I have 9,000 followers. Did, I think you just jacked up our... I didn't. I tried to press it so it would get darker. It just went dark all of a sudden. That's probably because your phone, you keep the light so dark on it. No, it was, it was really good. I see that's all the way up. It did it. Your it did it itself. Did it get dark for you guys? It's probably getting hot, baby. Your phone is getting hot. Ah, that could be the case. Okay, we'll we'll proceed. Anyway, don't worry about it. Anyway, Friday night, nine thousand followers on TikTok. Are y'all not proud of me? Monday morning, Monday morning, fifty four thousand. <laughs> 54,000. I went up almost 50,000 TikTok followers in one weekend. Huh? I said almost 50. David, don't ever do the low number when you could do the high number. Unless you're weighing yourself. And then preferentially, I would prefer to do the low number. Um, so, yes. 50,000 in one weekend. That's not bad for a weekend mm -hmm. of doing nothing. Nothing, literally. That's nothing. not true. Scrimmage on Friday night. Uh, what? It, oh, and you did. Um, uh, you fixed a really good, like Japanese uh, steak and, and fried, fried rice. rice on Friday night. That was really we good watched Artemis Fowl, which is on Disney Plus. Are you going to review that? Oh, you didn't. No, I didn't. I didn't even watch. You didn't it watch it all to review mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. Here's my uh, It's a great. Review. I'm sure it's a great movie for kids who love like fantasy and sci-fi yeah. stuff. I hate that kind of Here's stuff. Here's my review. I did watch it with the kids. It was pretty good. I mean, it didn't, you know, I can't, I'm not, you know, sitting on the edge of my seat waiting for the next one to come out. Remy, Remy liked it. Rocco was, uh, he's not into fantasy. Rocco's kind of not stuff, into but, movies. Yeah, that's true. Okay. It's, it, it, the, the, here are the di this disappointments in our parenting. Rocco's not into movies. Remy's not into Mexican food. 
that's we're gonna how have we to get, know they're adopted. We're going to have to get rid of one. That's how we know they're adopted. You know, it's like we just have to have those little reminders when we go to eat Mexican food. And Remy's like, ugh. Oh, it's a pain in me. It's a pain in my heart. I'm not getting nervous because, you know, for a long time, Rocco wasn't a fan of cheese. There is nothing closer to my heart. Jesus, Melissa, cheese. Than the kids. Uh, oh, and oh, that oh sorry. Than <laughs> the kids. <laughs> um, and Rocco, for a long time, didn't like it, but he has flipped He's on the cheese He's discovered cheese, and now he can't poop. And now he can't poop. Now he can't poop, David. Now he's, not ha he's having trouble pooping. But he something's poop. different about him now. What's different? He can't poop. He oh, can't he poop. can't poop now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because he's discovered cheese and he can't. Because before he could, and now what? He can't. He's eaten so much cheese he can't poop. Oh, he can't, he can't poop, y'all. He can't poop. He's having trouble. <sighs> so well, that, I guess this is it. <laughs> no. Okay. So uh, <laughs> Saturday. What did we do Saturday? We went to Tyler to oh, get Rocco yeah. some clothes. Oh yeah. Let's talk about that. So we had, we had said, hey, you know, we haven't been to breakfast in a while. Let's go to let's go to Cracker Barrel for breakfast. So we got up. Went to breakfast. We had no plans or no intentions. No plans, no intentions. And none. If you've watched us, if y'all have watched us for long, you know I am Mister Spontaneity. I mean, I just like to keep it fresh, keep it real. There's change nothing. It up. There's nothing spontaneous about it. I do. David Radke is a lovely man. He will give to your cause. He will pray for you. He will love you. I change it up every but day. But he is not a lot of fun. I, I know that y'all watch this and you think he is fun. Listen to me and listen to me good. I love him. I take a bullet for him. I'm in love with him. He's not a lot of fun. Never has been. And I gave it to God a long time ago. And I said, God, if you could change him for me, that would be great. And you know what God said? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Not going to happen. It's not fun. Not spontaneous at all. That's not true. So we were sitting at breakfast on Saturday morning, and David goes, let's just go to, to us. Rocco said, I need some shorts really bad. I need some summer clothes. And Rocco has grown a lot. And I said, okay, we'll go to Old Navy or whatever. David said, why don't we just get in the car and go to Dick's Sporting Goods and Tyler and go to Racket and Jog? <clears throat> and the kids were like, yeah. And I go, hold on, kids. There's going to be a, there's going to be a catch. David's got to pay some kind. He's got like a, me, the IRS man, go to his accountant who's in Tyler for the, like, there's going to be a reason why we're going to Tyler. Okay. And David said, no, there's absolutely no reason. Kids, you can watch a movie or play a game in the back. Melissa and I, as we drive the hour and a half to Tyler, we'll talk about our budget. Exactly. I knew there was a catch, but there wasn't, y'all. We just drove to Tyler. We just drove to Tyler. We just drove to Tyler. Y'all, we just drove to Tyler. We got there. Remy, who didn't need any clothes, found $400 worth of clothes. Rocco, who needed clothes, we drove all the way to Tyler for my 11-year-old son to find a pair of shorts that were black and buy two pairs of them. And and he had the exact same pair at the house. Mm -hmm. So now he has three pairs of the same. Mm -hmm. But you know how, I told Melissa, <clears throat> you know how some of those like really intelligent or really oh God, wealthy somebody people. just said hi i'm new to you and i'm from michigan no evelyn d keep scrolling keep sc evelyn there's nothing to see here evelyn, evelyn i want to be honest do with you. you like to watch car crashes on the side of the road <laughs> i want to be honest with you evelyn today is better than yesterday mm -hmm. but he's right about that it's not gonna it's not near as good as tomorrow mm -hmm. so you're gonna need to come back tomorrow tomorrow is hot topic tuesday where we do all the news hot topics see evelyn we keep it hot Okay. Uh, oh, you're kicking out a little shot to the... Tyler Racket and Jock on my left boob. Look at there. Okay. Um, so anyway, what was that? Um, oh, yeah. But you know those, like, you'll hear this sometimes of the really, uh, like, meticulous, intelligent, or wealthy people or whatever. Like, they have one outfit. Mm -hmm. Like, they don't ever want to think about mm -hmm. what shirt am I going to wear. They don't have, you know... They have a power suit and a power tie, and that's it. Yeah, so, I, so maybe that's Rocco. He just has... Power uh, shorts. He's had power, power shorts. shorts. That's what it is. It couldn't be that he's 11 years old, and when we say, where are your black shorts, Rocco? He's like, ha, oh, this is why I bought three pair. Here they are. Where's yeah. your other pair? And your other pair. Um, he ain't fooling us. That's what we did on Saturday. Saturday night, we went out to have sushi with some of our friends, with two couples. We went with um, the Mopers. And why do I Why, why do I did say? you do the... I did my North Dakota accent for, on the Mopers. Yeah. The Mopers. Um, uh, They're she, from India. She says... Um, Oh, Melissa. No. Oh. How does she say it? Now, now you're... you're Shush, I gotta get into character, David. 
I gotta get into character, David. But you're going from South Dakota. I do not want. To, I do. I don't want to come into dinner if I'm going to intrude or be that turd wheel. And I was like, Pauline, you're not the turd wheel. Quit saying you're the turd wheel. And she'll go, Oh, that is. You know that I do not say turd. I am saying turd. I don't want to be the turd wheel. Pauline, you're not a turd wheel. She's one of my best friends. And then the pigs, we went out to dinner with the sushi with them. And then we went to church on Sunday. And then we fought last night. Now here we are. Tell them why we fought last night. David, okay. you've got an attitude problem. <laughs> you've got an attitude. I have an attitude because you... You've got an attitude problem. And you have it in front of our children. <laughs> that hurts. That hurts. All the talky talky you do. Well, somebody just said, love you guys so much. Thank you. But you must not have anybody else in your life to love if you love us. There must. Somebody saw me that this weekend. They're like, oh, they saw me in the in Tyler and they wanted to come over and say hi. And I said, you must literally not have anything else going on if you watch us. Oh, those two guys at Chewy's. Oh, they were so cute. Mm -hmm. David, why don't we look like that in tank tops? <laughs> They walked off. They walked off. They go. You don't look like that in a tank top, David. Um, but anyway, they're like, we watch y'all every morning. I'm like, y'all got to find better stuff to watch. But when I wear a tank top, I do light up a room. Mm. You do. You do. But it's for it's different reasons than them. Because my skin is fluorescent. Because your skin is fluorescent. All right. David's, I'm not even real sure they can see. David's, anymore. but they're saying it's not dark. David's phone is getting hot, and literally. It is the dark. We can't barely can even make ourselves. I certainly can't read your comments. I think this is God saying, I need y'all to shut this down. I need y'all to shut it down. Um, so that's it for us. We're going to go. Tomorrow is Hot Topic Tuesday. Wednesday is We're Here For You Wednesday. Evelyn D., if you're still listening, which God knows you're not. Um, you can write us at melissa at melissaradke.com. Let us know what your, uh, what your problems are. Your questions and we will sort it out for you on Wednesday. Um, but otherwise we will see y'all tomorrow. Have a wonderful day. I did talk a lot today. Have a I'm great sorry. At the, well, it's a normal day. Okay. Hey, go check out uh, Tutorial Tuesday from last week before tomorrow's come out and uh, go I'm follow Melissa on uh, TikTok. TikTok. And I'm going to share the video that's had so many views. Let y'all see what you think. Okay, bye. See ya.